Hi, I'm Billy Hallowell. Welcome to Pure Talk, a show brought to you by PureFlix.com. I am excited today to be joined by Lauren Harper, star of PureFlix.com's Malibu. Dan, how are you today? Hey, I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So we have some new episodes of Malibu Dan that have recently released. And I wanted to ask you, what was it like getting a chance to be back filming again? I, I absolutely loved it. It's so much fun to get to go back when you're already friends with everyone and you've got a great vibe going. And I had even more fun than the first few episodes. <laughs> What would you say, because now you guys have had a chance to work together as a cast quite a bit now, what were some of the big you know, personal and professional lessons that you took away from this latest batch of episodes? I mean, personal lessons, probably just that it's okay to be silly. Um, the sillier, the better, and the more fun everyone is having. Uh, being one of the younger cast members and um, a little newer to to Hollywood, at first I was a little timid, and with season, like the last few episodes, you kind of got to relax, have a lot more fun, and professionally, working with David and Kevin and Andrea, Brad, they're all just complete professionals, and so gracious and so kind, and I think they're a great example of what I want to be like. So how do you, this is one of the things about comedy that I think is really interesting. When you're filming something and it's funny, how do you not laugh as you're as you're like working on these scenes and going through this content? How do you like how do you hold that in? Sometimes I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's what bloopers are for, right? <laughs> yes, that's true. I think you guys will have some great bloopers. Um, you know, I think it's good if it makes you laugh because that means you're you're hitting the joke right. Um, you know, you get the giggles out after one or two takes, and then you can do it seriously. But I think initial giggles are good. Uh, yeah. Well, no, it's good. And you can always do it again, right? But it, I feel like it probably makes you more comfortable as well, you know, with the cast as you're doing it, having those moments and you, you work through it, I would imagine. But I think for me, that would be hard because I just, when I want to laugh, I, I can't hold it in. So there'd just be endless blooper reels if I was filming something. Um, well, and, and with that, with that, just sort of a side question attached to that, who do you think, and maybe this is tough, maybe there's more than one, but who is the funniest actor in your view um, on the Malibu Dan cast? Oh man, that's, that's a trick question. So many of them are so funny. I personally always love Marty scenes. So Mark Christopher Lawrence, um, he makes me laugh every time he's on camera. Yeah, yeah, he's a, well, he's a funny guy. I mean, that's probably why he makes you laugh every time he's on camera. But I mean, everybody's, I guess, probably funny in their own way, but so he'd be your number one. Who would be your number two? I'm really putting you on the spot here. Yeah, you are putting me on the spot. I mean, it depends on the episode. Like in each episode, I think there's a different person that shines. And uh, there's this one episode where Reggie or Kevin Downs is wearing waders, um, like that you go hunting in. And it's just hilarious and so funny. And um, you have to watch that episode. And I don't know, it, dep it depends. Well, so, so you, in addition to Hollywood, you've made this really interesting move in your life. You've gone to New Haven and you're studying at Yale. So you, you had the Hollywood career. Now you're back in, in sort of the education, you know, sector. What, what drove that decision to make that move? Well, I was spending a lot of my time in LA producing. So I was handling a lot of the business side of things. And the more I was doing that, I realized that's something I'm good at and I enjoy as well. I, I love being in front of the camera, but also behind and I'm getting my master's in business. So I plan to take these skills back into the media and entertainment industry and hopefully just keep doing better and cooler stuff. Well, so that I was, that was the natural next question. You know, what is your plan in terms of acting in Hollywood? Do you still want to do a lot in front of the camera after I getting that business degree really gives you a unique perspective, I would think. But what's your, what's your game plan after you finish? Oh, we don't think <clears throat> what the game plan is. That is yet to be decided. I'm kind of about to go through recruiting for, you know, summer internships. So we'll see. But, I mean, I always love being in front of the camera. So I won't say no. Acting is such <laughs> a joy. Um, but the plan is to keep producing, making more movies, and see where it leads. 
What's the what's the hardest thing about <clears throat> you know working in Hollywood? What's the toughest, most challenging element of just living in that world, working in that world? Um, I think the most challenging part about the whole Hollywood scene is just not knowing what your next job is going to be. Um, especially as an actor, it's always when's the next time I'm going to get cast? What do I have lined up? And it's kind of a constant. Um, and that's where producing a little bit kind of brings in a little more um, normalcy to the Hollywood world. Well, and, and speaking of normalcy, I would imagine life in New Haven's probably a little bit different from Hollywood life. So just take me through that a little bit. Yes. It's, <laughs> um, well, now I'm in school again, so that's new. Haven't been in school in a long time. New Haven is smaller, uh, <laughs> lots of pizza. Which is not a bad thing. Pizza's no, never a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, pizza's great. I eat a lot of pizza. I eat pizza for lunch. Um, there's, I don't know. I mean, it's good, though. It's nice. I can park my car. You know, I can drive places in five minutes. So um, some of it's Wait, great. you're acting like you couldn't do that in L.A. as though there was some sort of traffic problem. Oh, yeah. yes. There is definitely a traffic problem. Oh, yes. <laughs> awful. So you get to actually just kind of live more of a, not that LA isn't normal life, but more of just a calmer, normal existence while I'm sure you're in the chaos of school. Yes, ex exactly. It's very normal, aside from the fact that the people in my class come from all over the world, which is amazing. I've met so many cool people. So let's say, because I, I already sort of asked you what's your plan, and I think you're figuring that out, and you're going to bring these business schools back, skills back into Hollywood, but if you could say, here's where I want to be in five to ten years, what would that look like? Um, I think it looks a lot like David A.R. White, Andrea Logan White, and Kevin Downs. Interesting. So getting to kind of do a mixture, running business, but also getting to have a little bit of fun in front of the camera and producing and the whole nine. Yeah, if I got to pick what it would be like in five years, it would definitely be a little bit of both. <laughs> What is it? What is it about producing? Because I think a lot of people who um, are really into movies, like like watching entertainment, you know, you you see sort of just the end product. You don't see everything that goes into a production. So, what is it about producing and some of the behind the camera stuff that you really like to do and that you find attractive about those positions? Um, I think what's cool about producing, especially from an actor's perspective, is that you get to have a little bit more control over the project. Um, so you get to help make decisions like where it's going to be filmed, like who's going to be cast, um, you know, what the dress, the production design is going to look like. Um, and there's something really fun about getting to play a small part in all of those decisions. Um, and you get to see a project come to life from the second it was an idea to when it's delivered on the shelves. And, you know, as an actor, you are part of the, a big part of it, but you're just there for a small period of time. Um, man, there's, there's, there's so much to ask you about, about Malibu. What, is there a particular episode? And I know it's like, after you finish wrapping something, going into school, it's probably like trying to remember, but and I don't want you to give away too much, but is there a particular episode in the recent batch that you really enjoyed filming the most? And if so, why? There is an episode where Nicole's family comes to town and Gigi Rice plays my mom and Madeline Carroll from I Can Only Imagine plays my sister. And I had a lot of fun with those girls uh, just being silly and getting to act with them. It was kind of a fun, different day. So I like that episode a lot. And I also, I got to do a lot of cool scenes with Andrea in this new batch. And, you know, Nicole and Holiday weren't really friends in the first uh, few episodes. So that was a lot of fun. I get to try to, you know, set her up on some speed dates and <laughs> lots of other goodies. <laughs> and, okay, so an acting, an acting question for you. Um, and I'm just always curious, how does it, it's always fun, I would imagine, when you have good chemistry working with somebody on camera. How do you navigate... Not that this, I don't think this happened with Mel, but you guys were a good cast, but like, how do you navigate when you don't have that chemistry? Because I would imagine that takes some talent to make something come alive when the two actors aren't necessarily compatible. Like, how do you navigate that? You know, it, it does take a little bit more because there's like an ice, an ice that needs to be broken, especially for me with comedy, um, because the more relaxed you are with who you're playing off of, the sillier, sillier ugh, silly, <laughs> sillier you can be. Um, I think 
you just have to remember that you're an actor if you're working with someone that you don't feel comfortable with you know pretend you feel great about them <laughs> that's part of our job and it's more fun if you like them but you can pretend if you don't right that's the whole thing <laughs> well listen this has been a lot of fun i wish you good luck in your continued studies that's a huge jump um, into that world and it's exciting and for anybody who's watching make sure you check out new episodes of mel boudin you can go to our facebook page for the next episode of pure talk next sunday it's facebook.com slash pureflix and be sure to check out mel boudin on pureflix.com have a good one thank you billy Here's the deal. PureFlix.com has 6,500 titles you can watch right now. That's way too many to show you in just 90 seconds, but you know what? Here we go. Man, you were the dog. I am talking to a dog. How many times do you know the directions to your house, but you listening to the phone?